Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. If you have a gardening question you'd like our host Fred Howard to answer, send him an email. The email address is fred at planttalkradio.com. Now for today's question. This came from our our friend Fred from Tuscaroras County, and he says, uh, I need some advice on my hazelnut trees. I have two hazelnut trees, and usually the squirrels get at them, but uh, this year he sprayed them with uh, Bonides Repels All, and he says it seems to be working. Now he needs to know when to harvest those, uh, and should he continue to spray until the, the husks fall down? Well, Okay, let, let's go with the harvest. Uh, normally, that's a September function uh, on into October. And the tree will trees, in this case, will kind of warn you. They'll start dropping nuts. Now, at that point, um, well, if, if you have a barren area, that would be great. Make it easier to pick up the nuts. But let's just say drop the mower down under the head of the, tr- well, under the branch stretch of the trees so that you can easily pick them up, rake them aside if you wish and so on. Uh, as soon as you get into October and good lawn growing again, the tree should be pretty much barren or picked. Um, and picking, let, let's talk about not necessarily uh, destroying your back like I did picking cherries. Uh, you, well, they will fall period. And then to speed that up a little bit, don't don't bump it with your car bumper, but you can shake the tree if it's young enough, or you can shake individual limbs, uh, not violently, and tend to loosen the nuts to get them down on the ground. Um, as far as repels all, I'm glad it has worked. Um, you'll know soon one of the tests on whether repels all worked or not will be a bucket or tub of water, drop the nuts in. Those that float Pitch, you might as well just call them mulch, uh, put them back in the mulch pile, whatever, because they've probably been affected by a drilling process from an insect that goes in and eats all that you wanted to have. The ones that don't float are the ones then that you dry out. You can, you can uh, do it in several ways. Uh, a warm concrete patio will do it, but it's better if you have a screen uh, or a hardware cloth that you can lay them on so they'll dry top and bottom. Uh, and even then, you should rake them over each day to make them dry out. It'll take three, four weeks. Then uh, away they go. Now, be forewarned. I had a different kind of nut, and it was pre- highly preferred. My great uncle picked them, gave me a whole peck of them. I put them on the patio to continue the drying process, and... <laughs> And my, I didn't bother to tell my wife. I just went out in the morning on the way to work and spread them out on the patio, the nice south-facing warm patio. And uh, she she greeted me when I came home that evening with, you can't believe what a circus we've had around here today. I said, I don't understand. Uh, kids been out of sorts? No, 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 no. The squirrels. I have seen more squirrels today. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, my goodness. Oh, there wasn't a single nut left on the patio. And uh, let's just say. Maybe oh, dry shucks. them out in the garage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or or throw a wire over the top of them, too. Some way to defeat the squirrels. But anyhow, uh, Fred, I'm glad things are working well. As far as using the repels all, I think the primary time for insect problems is past or passing now no harm in continuing to use it well he's he's doing it for the squirrels i think the repels all yeah, yeah. right uh, but i mean they're well that's right the insects but the squirrels um well i i've watched those rascals be detracted in many 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 ways and they'll sit and scratch their forehead, I swear, <laughs> figured out a new way to enter things. But any event, that, that would be why you would throw the wire over the top to try to keep the squirrels from getting there. And uh, good luck with that. Um, I don't think it'll require a shotgun, but <laughs> you, be aware, they want them too. <laughs> yes, they sure do. I, you know, when I was a kid, uh, of course, uh, my, my father's uh, – most coveted mm-hmm. uh, nut was the uh, the butternut, yeah, or well, I guess white walnut. Some people uh, yeah. call it white walnut, yeah. but uh, he knew where yeah. the secret tree locations were at this old abandoned farm, and he would he and I would go out and gather those up. Well, that's precisely what I was trying to dry, and and uh, I didn't live in that house long enough thereafter to find any butternuts coming up, but. Um, 
they, the squirrels loved them, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they were good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks again for listening to our podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our other podcasts as well, the Plant of the Week podcast and the Plant Talk Radio podcast, all on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. If you'd like to sponsor a daily podcast, contact us at fred at planttalkradio.com. To find out more about Fred Hauer and Plant Talk Radio, visit our website, planttalkradio.com. We've had a lot of questions about how we started the Dollar Saving Divas and why we do this. I know. Well, I'm Kelly. And I'm Leslie. And we are the Dollar Saving Divas. But we do more than just dollar saving, saving tips. But we started talking about this. It was 15 years we ago used when to we work used together. to work together. Mm-hmm. And I, I just remember we, we started it because we both like the same kind of food. Yeah. So we would go in, in search of the... Lunch every day. Lunch every day. Let's find the best chili. Let's find the best crab cake. Remember, we right. would just go place to place. And we would compare. And it was just our, it was our fun little lunch break every and it day. Was, it was a joke that, that we that said, you know, we ought to do this sometime for like a radio right. show or and we both at the time we both had young kids and so we were trying to find ways to you know even cut costs and still provide all those things that you want to provide for your family well and, and live even, within your budget and and you know we used to i used to do a lot of events and marketing so you know we we've done everything from tricks and tips on you know party planning and how to decorate a table to different foods i mean we've traveled around the community to lots of different yeah, we cities. discovered some things in the community that, you know, we didn't know were there. We thought, well, gosh, other people should know. Exactly. Shopping, great shopping places. We even we even went, took a vacation to Naples, Florida, which right. I, I think we should do more of that traveling, well, absolutely. actually. Yeah, yeah, we should do more I of that. I think some international would be good. But I think it's just it's a lot of our life experiences. A lot of life. It's a lot of a life. Lot of life experiences. <laughs> we're not going to say how many combined, but <laughs> sharing I, that with other people. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say we, we could you know, together. It would be like no, we're sen- not going to say okay, that. I'm not even going to go there. I think it's really funny when we're now actually going and looking for sponsors. I mean, people are actually following us, and they're you know, I know it's, we. It's amazing. We've got. I mean, it's like <laughs> people do want to hear what we have to say. <laughs> and actually, I've heard some people even take notes. They have to replay it because, like, like, I want to know where that really good happy hour is. And they like, right. they, well, everybody wants to know where a really good happy hour well, is. And we're, we're really good because we know where all the good happy hours are. Just ask us any place you live. All can, those years of work. Yeah. <laughs> you need to know a good lunch spot and a good happy hour spot. <laughs> and, and never the two shall meet because <laughs> you shouldn't be drinking at lunch. <laughs> But it's just been really fun, and I, I think we're really expanding the things we're doing, which is, which is, you know, I never thought that people would actually listen yeah. to us. Well, I think that's the fun part is we are doing what's fun to us. Exactly. So it's not like it's work. Right. We're just having a good time. And, and talking about it. <laughs> Talk about, and maybe we shouldn't be talking about some of the good times that we well, have. Well, right. Probably a little censorship would be good. <laughs> well, I think we, you know, we go bleep, bleep <laughs> in between things. So, these podcasts are really 20 minutes, but we edit them down to eight. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> yeah. there's so many things there's that should go in there. Yes, you know, bleep, bleep. You know, it's like that. What is it? That, what do they do on the um, on TV? The, you know, it's like the. The, right. The lag time or the... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We have to have a 10-second th- delay. That's it, a 10-second <laughs> delay. But we've really had fun, and so I hope people continue to listen to us. Yeah. And if You know what? And if people have things that they thought would be, make a good podcast, they really ought to, you know, contact us. Let us know, because we're always open to new adventures. Yeah, particularly if they... <laughs> Do they include travel, food, and, <laughs> and <drink>. alcohol? <laughs> yeah. And we're down. We're good to go. <laughs> Circle270media.com.